Hi, my name is Eran, and I want to tell you why you should use the Augmented Steam browser extension. I am going to list out the features that I like, it's not all of them, and I'm going to show you how it works by comparing my regular Steam view with an incognito one. First of all, skip age verification. I don't really know how it's done, whether it remembers what I selected or just enters something old enough, but it saves a lot of anguish for those of us who don't care for a website to keep asking us how old we are. Skip external site confirmation. Don't you just hate it when you click a link and the site you're on has a separation anxiety? This takes care of that. You click a link, it works. Thirdly, it's connected to and maintained by Is There Any Deal? Augmented Steam wasn't augmented in the beginning. It was a solo developed project that was abandoned and was forked by the team at Is There Any Deal? The only games watch list you ever need, in my opinion. And what I liked about it then, and even more now, is that connection. You see a game you like on Steam, click the iTad link and add it to your watch list. Then iTad would let you know the next time it's on sale at one of your favorite stores. Easy. Now it's part of the core concept. Now you can even add the watch list from the Steam page itself. Search functions on other sites, including immediately activating keys. Just select any text on any site and then right click to activate the context menu and select the augmented Steam option. From there you can search for it on Steam, search for it on is there any deal, or if it's a key, just immediately activate it. No more seeing a key giveaway and try to find your Steam icon, opening the program, remembering under which menu it was, finding the activate key dialog, copy and pasting, and hoping no one beat you to the punch. Item highlighting. Ever happened to you when you were looking at a list of games in a big sale or event, or if you're just looking at what's popular or what's upcoming and you don't remember what you've already seen, ignored, and or wishlisted? This feature is for you. Choose your colors and every time you look at a list of games, it'll pop out colorful highlights for games you've already marked. Take notes. I don't really use it myself because it's rare that I view a page multiple times, but if it works for you, you can add a personal note on any game page if you want to remember something when you view the page. Ignore broadcasts. Yes, I hate those. I have the size of my window and the zoom level on Steam exactly set how I like it so I could see all the most important information about the title in one screen. Then a broadcast comes up and messes everything up. Luckily, here's an option to completely remove it. No more. Honestly, I feel a little sad for Steam, but its streaming kind of sucks. It's better off just as a store. Show Metacritic slash OpenCritic slash how long to beat slash is there any deal. You can choose to show a vast number of other links and information including Metacritic scores, though I personally prefer OpenCritic, I trust it more, Steam DP pages, is there any deal, so I can check price history, and you can even show how long to beat information, if available. And if you're so inclined, you can add a link of your own making, your title and your address, searching for the game's ID number or name, or both. If you want a direct link to search for wallpaper images of a game you like, just a hypothetical example, you can do that. Mouse scrolling images and videos. This is something I can't understand how people live without anymore. I check out a lot of games on Steam, so I want to do it quickly. I load a page, skim the description while the first trailer plays, and then I want to quickly scroll some images to see more. What do I do? No, I don't try to find the tiny right arrow and click it. I just put my cursor over the carousel and scroll. Amazing, so useful. Augmented Steam might be worth it just for this feature. Compare prices across other stores. As standard, when you scroll down to look at the price of a game on Steam, Augmented Steam will grab data from iTad and tell you what is currently the lowest known price and what is the record low for this game, while even linking you directly to that page. And of course, you can click over to iTad and get the full info. Make regional price comparisons. Steam already knows where you live and shows you an appropriate price, whether it's auto-converted by Steam or selected by the publisher. So Augmented Steam pulls up the original dollar value with a standard exchange rate and displays what you would have paid if you were paying the original price, if you want to get a little sad. Quick market operations. This is a minor convenience that most people probably won't use a lot, but even a little convenience is great. So you know that when you want to sell stuff on Steam Marketplace, you have to click an item, click sell, select a price, click agree, and only then do you see the item on the store. Now there are two quick sell buttons. One sell at the current price on the market, which will hopefully get you a buy, and one that sells slightly under market value to raise the odds of a sale, but get less for it. There are actually other options. I've listed less than half. These are just the ones I like the most and use the most. If you haven't installed Augmented Steam yet, at least try it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Like and subscribe. Stay good. Have fun.